So we took care of the Raptors in game one of our second round matchup, winning by almost 40 points and shooting something like 50% from three. I have confidence that if we get a better start in the first quarter, we'll take care of this series real quickly. But let's go ahead and simcast game two. It's a pretty close game, especially at the half. We even lose the lead a few times in the fourth quarter. But at the end of the day, we come out with a two point win over the Raptors. It's actually kind of a miracle we won considering we gave up 24 second chance points and the Raptors had an insane 59 bench points and 41 assists to go with it. I mean, look, they had eight guys in double digits, but ultimately I think Lowry had a pretty big hand in them losing. He wasn't good shooting the ball. And as you can see here, he didn't guard Trey well either. Trey had 33 and 13 on some really efficient shooting. John Collins had a double double. So did Capella. Reddish, Bogdan and Herter also gave us solid games. But let's go back to Atlanta and try to get this series basically put away with the 3-0 lead. Van Vliet and the Raptors get on the board first, blowing by Trey for the easy layup. It doesn't take long for us to get on the board either, with Cam finding Bogdan in the basket for two. There must have been some miscommunication on the Raptors defense because Trey was left wide open to green this three. But Siakam gets two more on the tough finish through Capella, we'll be seeing a lot more of that tonight. Trey gets those two points right back, driving by Lowry on the fast break, and we lead by three. Lowry must have taken that personal, because he takes the ball to the rack himself for another easy two. It's just hard to guard anyone with Trey, and my evidence will be this clip, where Trey is just frozen in place while Lowry gets another layup. Gross. Then, believe it or not, we're having trouble with our offense, and that lets Lowry find Siakam for the lob. The Raptors are on an 8-2 run. I mean, look, we can't even get simple lobs to go. Things might be trending downwards. On the other end of that missed lob, Lowry blows by Trey and finishes over Bogdan. Raptors must have shown up tonight. But thank goodness, lob number two goes down for us. No way we missed two in a row. Considering we're six minutes in with only nine points, I say we get some easy offense going. And look at how easy that John Collins dunk was. The rest of the quarter is actually pretty much the same, tons of back and forth. So we end the first up actually, 25 to 24. To start the second quarter, somehow Terrence Davis gets this and one to go on Gallinari. Whatever, man. Lucky for us, Bogdan plans on hitting a couple threes tonight, greening this one. But Siakam is gonna Siakam, and that includes getting wide open layups, I guess. I understand Pascal is a good finisher, but these animations make me very upset. Why should he get to shrug off two guys and get the easy layup? But he does. We have our own weapon at the basket, and apparently it's Gallinari. He gets the two over Van Vliet. Here's where our struggles kind of begin though, with Hunter literally gliding on Ananobi, who can just spin off for the bucket. Apparently Siakam can do this too, and you'll be able to see my frustration mounting soon. Then OG gets this three to go, and just like that we're down six. But when we get down like this, the best thing to do is just run a three-point set. And thankfully, the calm offense nets us a bogged on three. OG, officially known as Ray Allen, drills this three right here to take those points back though. And we're down eight. But here's me being frustrated with our offense. Getting lucky that this shot somehow goes in with Dunn. But here's pretty much the sum of this game. If Siakam didn't make it the first time, he'll make it the second time. Thank goodness Trey comes back in and gets this feed to Capella though. We're having a serious drought. That won't stop Siakam endlessly blowing by John Collins though. And we're down 8 again. What I did forget was to mention that Trey had 3 fouls. Mainly off of me reaching from frustration. He gets his 4th here and the first half isn't even over yet. Yikes. Luckily Herder is a cheat code from 3 and he keeps us within single digits. I mean, our deficit isn't all that bad, it's just frustrating how easy Siakam is getting buckets with me not being able to do anything about it. That's all, pretty much. But that keeps happening for the rest of the quarter, unfortunately for me, and we're down 63-53, to 53, with Siakam having like a million points. One thing about Trey being in foul trouble is that you're actually seeing Rondo minutes for the first time. Spoiler alert, I honestly kinda like him better than Dunn. Anyway. John Collins starts off our third quarter taking advantage of the mismatch on Van Vliet. Then Bogdan is left wide open and he takes advantage of that by greening the three. 
apparently Van Vliet is a mismatch for Bogdan too, because here he is posting him up. Cam Reddish gets involved in the offense and it ends up with two points off of a nice dunk. John Collins always gets his in the third quarter apparently. He's been doing pretty well so far. The Raptors have not scored in two and a half minutes. Meanwhile, John Collins is getting his sixth point of the quarter, I believe. We're only down one point. And there's Siakam, at it again. Nobody can guard him tonight. That's two more points. But John Collins gets those two points right back off the pretty lob from Bogdan. And then at long last, on this very possession, we take the lead back thanks to Capella. He's been scoring a lot more than usual this game. Speaking of, nobody wants to guard Capella, so he takes it straight to the rack for two. That's probably the longest he's held the ball in his hand since he's become a Hawk. DeAndre Hunter must have looked at his percentages before the game or something and decided he didn't want to shoot 12% from three anymore because he greened this one. Kevin Herter on the other end then extends our lead to seven, greening another three. Speaking of green, we've got another Herter three to look at, and it's pretty. But we've got to get to the fourth sometime and this video will probably be long enough as it is. So here we are with Chris Dunn greening another three. Isn't that crazy? But anyway, we'll skip to the part of the fourth where it's interesting and that starts here with Pascal getting .317 or something. Trey is finally back in the game though after like a one and a half quarter hiatus. I mean he missed the shot but Capella is there for the offensive rebound and the putback. Thank you Clint. But Bogdan has been pretty aggressive tonight, and it's shown in the stat sheet. He gets two more for himself right here. Aaron Baines has plans to win tonight though, as evidenced by his wide open three he gets to go. John Collins on the other hand has similar plans, so he posts up Van Vliet for the millionth time for two more points. But since I literally can't move John Collins, Siakam gets yet another shot at the basket to go, cutting the lead to only four. By the way, Siakam has 40. And what better way to do that than just throwing up a contested shot and it going in? Gotta love 2K. We're only up two, so let's get an easy bucket. And Siakam is so focused on Trey that the lob is pretty easy for JC. And we're up four. We get insanely lucky that Van Vliet doesn't hit this shot, but hey, I'll take it. Unfortunately, they just start playing the foul game now, and this game is over. We win the game 127 to 122. And Toronto did hit a couple threes to keep it semi-interesting, but our free throws put the game away. Speaking of, we hit 83% of ours, which definitely helped us win, along with our 47 bench points to their 10. Okay, I'm writing the script, and I realize I totally forgot to grab the box scores, so my bad. Trey only played about 25 minutes and ended with 21-9 and nine or something. John Collins had 23 or 24 or something. Bogdan had a nice 18-5. and five. Um, Capella, he was really good. I'm pretty sure he had like 20 and 15 or something like that. And then Rondo in his 19, 14 minutes of play or something, he had four points and four assists. So that was pretty good. And then Siakam had 40, 40 freaking points. So yeah, <laughs> we're up 3-0 on the Raptors though. Cleveland is also up 3-0 on the 76ers and we can't allow that to happen. So I did lower Drummond's stats because he's apparently Wilt Chamberlain in 2K. And he's not that at all. Don't worry, his rebounding is still in the 90s. But anyway, I will not let them win because we aren't going to the finals in our first year. That would be pretty anticlimactic, wouldn't it? But anyway, this video has gone on long enough. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. We're really close to 200 subs. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. And y'all, have a good one.